Tom's River, New Jersey. That's where we're at here. And a municipal course listed right here. I got the course for myself, not many people out here today. So let's go through the outside of this clubhouse. Now they do have a restaurant inside, but the clubhouse is located on the side here. We walked in here, no tea times on a sloppy day outside of Tom's River. It rained on us, the footage wasn't the best, but we were able to power through, especially number one here. And we're gonna be bringing you all the footage of this golf course, starting off with the history of the course. And there's a lot of history here, being built in 1969 on a local farm. That is the original owners of the land were the Applegates, which had the big farm here. Now, all in all, the funding of this golf course and how it came to be was through a grant from the New Jersey Green Acres program. The township of Tom's River, which owned and operates this golf course to this day, is dedicated to providing its residents a great golfing experience for reasonable rates. The course, bad rap when it comes to online ratings on Google, it's just below a 4 out of a 5, which still isn't that bad, but for golf courses, if you're playing golf you're pretty excited you're gonna put at least a four or five on there so that's technically pretty bad on golf pass it's a 1.6 not a lot of people going out there but there's a lot of people playing this golf course rest assured and being a municipal course the price is right comparing it to other golf courses now here it's a part 72 that stretches a full course at 6,677 yards this course slope is 122 and a rating of 71.3 it's listed as open year-round rest assured again that is the case we were able to play pretty much in a monsoon and they were still taking on some tea times and because of the rain we were didn't get all the holes that we wanted to in this video but we did get some of the best footage that we could talking about the price it's $38 currently in 2023 to play this golf course, 18 holes, but they got those nine hole rates. They also have a ton of other discounts, seniors, uh, police and fire, all these other municipal type rates along with memberships that are going to be well worth it if you're near the area. Looks like the most expensive rate is the non-resident weekend and holidays at $41, which still is extremely reasonable. Seniors, 23 bucks non-resident 34 on the weekdays uh, definitely has some twilight rates but which you're not seeing right off the bat here twilight rates starting at four o'clock on the summertime that's not bad doesn't say the price but all in all it had a great time getting out here at this golf course we were able to pull some raw footage of the course if you're trying to play this course there's some holes that are better than others like this one right here viewing a lot of the online comments the pace of play was the reason it got dropped significantly from a three to a four or I'm sorry four, four to a three or from a five to a four from a lot of the online writers and we were lucky we would just get out there and there's no one out there on a rainy day like this so you're not going to get the rating that i'm going to give you but i'm still going to give you a raw rating on this video and we're going to just get right to it and stole some footage here i think a 5.6 is a solid rating at this golf course a lot of potential here to kind of push it over the edge to a six but I still think it belongs somewhere in the higher fives and maybe a 5.5, but I think a 5.6. Number one really sets the tone. It's not the best hole. You got a you know, fence on the left-hand side. It's a little sloppy. Collectively, if you were to take all 18 holes here and slam them into nine holes, I think you got an incredible nine hole golf course, but some of them just didn't have it for me. And maybe it was just a rainy day and the footage wasn't as good going back and even just confirming what I thought what I saw when I was playing the course, which wasn't the best great golf course. It's just a typical municipal golf course. Atlantis, I think, is a little bit better, another municipal course. Hopefully, we can get back out here and give it a true rating. Some of the holes, like the back nine, I thought were a little bit better than the front nine. Uh, the one right here, I thought this was probably the nicest hole on the course, but by then, the rain, frustration was starting to really play a factor on this golf course. 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. In regards to the price management, it's probably an 8 out of a 10, right? But in regards to this rating of a golf course, I think a solid 5.7, 5.6, 5.6, we're going to stay true to that number at a 5.6. 
get out here play this golf course let us know if we got the score wrong or if the course is even in better shape we're consistently playing more golf courses around the area and we're targeting these 40 dollars golf courses hey someone's got to play them someone's got to show footage and most of the time it's not as good as the footage you're going to see from that golf club we're showing you that independent golf footage here that's why we need you to subscribe keep a lookout for more videos to come this is go fly, fly. Oh. launch control this is houston we are go for launch